If you make videos like this and wear these, then you know how much of a problem it can be when you get that glare coming from your main key light reflecting directly onto your glasses and it's being seen by you and whoever is watching your videos. I often find it distracting when I see it in videos and frustrating when I see it in my own videos. So in this video, I'll show you five ways of preventing or at least reducing those glare issues to a minimum. So hopefully you'll be able to avoid this problem and make your videos look clear and professional. Tip one, wear glasses that have an anti-reflective lens coating. This tip is less of an immediate fix like the other tips unless you're getting some new glasses right now. But when you do get to choose your next new glasses, your opticians may be able to give you an anti-reflective coating to your glasses in front of the lens itself. This is a special coating that reduces the amount of light that bounces off your glasses, creating that glare. Not only is it useful for making videos like this, but also in your everyday glasses wearing life, it can also improve your vision and come and reducing eye strain and enhancing contrast. Tip two, remove bright items in your line of sight. Bright items such as windows, mirrors, screens, lamps, or your key lights can reflect light directly onto your glasses and create that annoying glare. So if these light sources are just causing an issue, just simply move them out of the way. Either move them away from your filming area or just cover them. So if you've got that main glare light as a window, for example, just close the blinds. If you can see your key light in your glasses, just move it until it's not. Tip three, adjust your light placements. The issue that that most of you watching this video are probably having your main key light, the one that's in front of you, that's the problem. But you can't simply turn it off because you need that light to see yourself on camera. But because position and angle of your lights can directly affect the amount of direction of the glare on your glasses, we're going to have to do something about that main light. You can try raising your lights above head height, moving them further away from you or closer, using a diffuser to soften the light. You'll find that you'll have to find a balance between making sure the light isn't producing that glare on your glasses, while at the same time making sure that you are well lit. Because moving your light source away from you will make you appear darker, moving it higher can give you unwanted shadows, both of which can sometimes be remedied in camera and in post, or just by experimenting with different lighting setups. This can be things like your main source coming in from a different angle, having additional fill lights coming in from opposite 45 degree angles, therefore complementing each light, negating and reducing that shadow effect caused by just one angled light, or even using reflectors that bounce that angled light to the shadowed areas of your face. Tip four, adjust your camera angle. You can try tilting your camera slightly up or down or moving it closer or further away from you. This method may change the perspective that you're going for. So if you prefer an eye level shot like this, which is geared towards building a connection with the viewer by being on the same level of them, then having a slightly higher or lower shot may end up giving you that angle that you're not happy with. Tip five, adjust your glasses angle. You can also try tilting your glasses up or slightly down or wearing them higher up or higher down your nose. I'm not a fan of this because if I were to change the angle too much and I haven't really got the hair to hide a tip pair of glasses which makes it quite obvious and potentially distracting to the viewer that my glasses aren't sitting properly. Or the moment that my glasses usually run down my nose, I just want to put them back up immediately. But for you, you may find that this is a helpful suggestion. With all of these tips, the main thing is to practice these different test positions. Have a session where you are just setting up up just to find that ideal position. Turn on your key lights, turn on your background lights, turn on your fill lights, and just set up the camera as if you were going to start any other content that you usually make. Not to press record, but if you can, flip out the LCD screen and just look at what the camera can see. If you've not got a flip out screen, then just record a few test shots. If it doesn't look good, make that minor change and try again. Until you've cracked it and got that setup and lighting position in that position that suits you best. In some instances, you may find that you'll have to upgrade your current light to a more suitable one. If you've got a small light, for example, then you might find getting a larger, softer light might make it advantageous because it's gonna make reflections less noticeable. But in most cases, you should be able to find a workaround with the equipment that you've got via some form of minor alteration. So those are just five tips that I use to prevent glare issues while wearing my glasses when I'm filming myself on camera. I hope they can help you too. If you found any of these helpful, if you've got some of your own that you want to add to the list, just leave them below in the comments. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.